Today on Yarra Rangers Life TV, we are joined by the Deputy Premier for the State of Victoria, the Minister for Education, as well as Emergency Services, our member for Mombok, and also, if I could add, the Mount Lidl, oh, a Mount Liddell College alumni. Uh, Mr Molino, thank you so much for joining us here on Yarra Rangers Life TV today. Thanks, Pat. Good to talk with you. Thank you. Now, uh, I always ask uh, our, our dignitaries and guests that we speak to, uh, how? How did you get involved in, in politics? Um, I was always interested in politics. Uh, I can remember back, um, it goes back as far as uh, Bob Hawke's election victory in 1983. Wow. So I was yeah. 10 years old, Yes. had no idea about politics, but I distinctly remember Uncle Joe popping a bottle of champagne and I was thinking to myself, what is this? You know, Hawthorne's not in the grand final. No, yeah. um, it's no one's birthday. Um, why, why are people celebrating? So that, that sparked my interest. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was interested through school, I had a fantastic Year 12 politics teacher, Mr Desmond, in, at Mount Lillardar. Remember him? Uh, yeah. yeah, and um, then went to uni, just started to get involved in uh, local community organisations in, in Yarra Ranges, mm -hmm. environment group, in, employment group, and uh, just got active in the community mm -hmm. and thought I'd give it a go. Fantastic, and out of all the things you can do in life, uh, why? Why politics? Um, I think the, the attraction of politics is um, you can come to it from any walk of life and it's, it's an avenue where you can make a difference. Where you can make, whether it's through legislation, whether it's through something you build or, or, a, or an issue you're focused on, you can make a difference in politics. and um, that's, that's what attracts me and I think that's what attracts most politicians. And, and how long have you been involved now? Because I know uh, when I first met you, you were involved at the local council. Yeah, level. yeah, that's yeah. right. So uh, next year, 2017, will be the 20th anniversary of the first democratically elected Yarra Rangers Council. Fantastic. So it'll be 20 years <laughs> next year. Um, so I did about five and a half years in local government mm -hmm. and then uh, since 2002 in state, state Transition parliament. To state, yeah, fantastic. Um, and over those almost 20 years, um, what would you say for you personally would be your greatest achievement? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough I question. Know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a really tough question. Probably um, at, a, at a statewide level, um, being Minister for Education, this is um, the, the role that I always dreamed of having. Um, so really, uh, you know, this year, a massive increase in needs-based funding for our most disadvantaged students and families. Um, building schools all over the state. So I think my greatest achievements um, statewide is, is in the area of education. Um, locally, there's a whole bunch of projects that I've been passionate about. Um, building Burringer, uh, funding funding Burringer was probably one of my favourites, the uh, performing arts facility in, in Upway. In Upway, yes. Yeah. I've been past there a few times, yeah. it's fantastic. And there's a few local school projects on the go now that I'm pretty proud of. Fantastic. And uh, Look, being a, a local Yarra Rangers uh, resident, uh, what, look, you've got to share with us, what do you love about the Yarra Rangers? Well, I'm uh, 44, haven't moved far. <laughs> <laughs> Grew up in Kilsyth, then Mount Evelyn, now Montrose. I've always been um, a Yarra Rangers boy, always been. Um, and that's uh, Megan and I and the kids, we live in Yarra Rangers, go to school there. And um, it's just a beautiful part of the world. I, I love the environment. I love the Dandenongs, uh, the Yarra Valley. Um, but you're also, you know, close to everything you need. It's, exactly. it's that perfect combination. Yeah, fantastic. Look, Mr. Molino, thank you so much for your time with us here on Yarranger's Life TV, and I wish you all the best on your 20th anniversary in 2017. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, Pat. Cheers. One.